Hey everybody, Steve from Chief Skills. Hey, I saw this post on Chief Talk. This gentleman is trying to create a mezzanine inside a garage for storage. And the way he was approaching it was using a shelf ceiling inside this room, inside the, the garage, and it wasn't working out. So uh, let me show you how I, how I would approach this. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. And I just did a quick little drawing uh, similar to yours. And um, just so I could show you the quick way to, to actually fix this. And using two floors is the easiest way. Just copy all these exterior walls. Actually, you got I, I don't have a second floor. So the first thing I'm going to do is build a new floor. And I'm going to say derive from first floor plan. And don't worry about the height for now. So we have a second floor. And it's basically standard height, like eight foot tall. So I looked at your plan here, and you have a ceiling height in here of 169 and an eighth. Yes. So what I did here is I did a section back clip right through here. It doesn't matter where. And then I took a CAD box, just a CAD line, a CAD, CAD poly line. And I made it 169 and an eighth. And then I took another line and I did this. And you could do this, you know, autom with your calculator. And it needs to drop that distance right there. Four foot one and three quarters. So I'm going to go back here and open this floor and go minus 49.75. Minus. I got to put a minus there. And if we look at our section, it should be, there you go. So there's our 169 and eighth right to the top plate. So now what you do is you go downstairs and copy this wall. Go up, control alt V for paste and hold position. Take the door out. Open this here. Make it invisible. Okay. And then in this room here, you make it open below. And now if we take a section back clip through this way, you will see you basically have your mezzanine. Um, so let's just take a camera view downstairs here. See what we see here. And there you go. There's your mezzanine floor. Of course, it's got moldings in the same floor because it thinks it's a floor. So if you double click in there and you make it a, oh, I don't know, make it a pantry. Maybe it'll change the flooring. Nah, it probably won't. Make it something like a storage right here. Nah, it doesn't take the moldings off. So go to the moldings tab and delete. And there you go. And you can change the flooring to something else. But there is your mezzanine. And it's fast. And you have your ceiling inside your room. All your rooms. You don't have to worry about shelf ceiling or anything like that. And uh, just so you understand, a, if you put like an interior wall here. And you open this and you let's just make this a closet. And you put a shelf ceiling on it. And you put it at 84 inches, let's just say. Now you look at it. And there's your shelf ceiling. It, it's designed to work inside another room. So um, just a quick video on how to create a mezzanine style room within another room and in this view you want to make sure that you have invisible walls turned on uh, a lot of these templates don't have this automatically set when you use the camera view th full 3d and uh, that needs to be fixed in your template so that when you go into these rooms if you if you have that turned off for instance you're going to see this and uh, so Make sure you have it checked and then it'll complete this system there.
just a quick video on how to create a mezzanine room within a room. It's a good way to do it without using a shelf ceiling. Uh, that would create all sorts of problems inside this space. So, and it doesn't frame. Uh, I didn't do the framing, but let's say we built framing here and we built wall framing and, oh, ceiling framing, first floor and roof framing. Let's just build it all here. Say, okay, now I don't want to see it in this view. Okay, and then we'll take another view here. We'll get the camera and take a framing overview. And as you can see in here, the wall doesn't build. So uh, that's a quick way to do that. I uh, hope this video helps.